and uh, let's work with this table which we had in the beginning so this is a table and if you look at the, the content more closely you can see that there are a lot of the words which are repeating which actually we, we can remove without losing the information so for example all this repeating name of the product or continent it's enough just to say okay the, the type is physical digital it's it's obvious it's all about the product so uh, just can start removing it manually or you can just uh, use the help of the replace text replace tool in PowerPoint so the, it's over here we go here replace tool I can just I just copied the word product here replace it with nothing I would go for match case because I want to keep the product name here and then when I go here find next and replace it will start replacing me this product name with the empty word and the same way I could do with the continent and with other repeating words so this way you can simplify the content and get this more space and the shortcut to use this replace tool is ctrl H the similar as ctrl F is for find so if you like shortcuts this is quite saving time if you are handy if it gets uh, yeah if you get used to it so that's one way how to simplify the table next thing you can do is to remove unimportant elements so from visual point of view the the grid which is the same heavy dark black as the, the content but the grid is doesn't convey information as the unlike the this content which conveys information so we should uh, what we can use and what we usually do uh, we try to remove the grid either at all and you can do it by selecting the table going to table design and here with the borders when you choose no border and many cases when you have enough margins which we've been working in the first part uh, if there's enough margin maybe you don't need grid at all if the the table is not stuffed too much however if you, if you prefer still have some grid at least change it to some lighter color so in order to change the color of the grid you first need to choose the pen color over here so not the black one but the gray one and then you can choose uh, apply the border so we don't have to do it for all borders we can just go for inside borders and it will get table like this which is much more lighter and uh, is focusing on the content presenting the content next thing which we can do to simplify the content is to place the text information by the graphical symbols so in either case we let's go for rating and rating can be actually replaced by uh, stars symbol so uh, and you can insert the symbol if you go to insert type over here symbol and over here we have a uh, symbols and the symbols actually here are presented by special fonts so if I go here you have here the list of fonts which you have and one of the fonts is a special it's called windings there's windings 2 and windings 3 I think too but let's go for the basic ones and here's this classical common top uh, symbols used and here we can use the we can use the, the star if I double click it or if I put here insert it will place the star on the place where I had the cursor so I can just put three away copy this one clipboard ctrl C ctrl V to paste it so I have three stars over here and a similar way you can just uh, quickly replace this one my pack, 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 five times stars so it doesn't take much time uh, this is the character classical character so you can change its color if you want you can change the same way as if you change color other colors so we can make it yellow or uh, increase the size so that's uh, way how you can replace all the symbols and uh, uh, the table will then it's usually easier to read because we process graphical information faster than text information so to sim uh, summarize ideas how to simplify table remove repeating text remove elements which are less important like the grid and replace data with uh, graphical symbols